Hello everyone and welcome to this week's webinar where we will talk about understanding supply relationship management. We will start this webinar in approximately 4 minutes. We will just give uh, time for people that are still trying to join this session. In the meantime, feel free uh, to go grab a cup of coffee, go to grab a cup of water or um, finish some uh, tasks before we start this session. We will start in approximately 3 and a half minutes. For those who are just joining, welcome to this week's webinar. Um, we will start this webinar in approximately three minutes. So if you, st you still have some time, if you want to grab a cup of wa a coffee or water. Um, in the meantime, we would be hap very happy to understand which country you are joining from. So please let us know in the comment section here on LinkedIn, which country you are uh, watching us from today. I see that uh, more people are joining the session. Uh, welcome to this week's webinar. Um, we will talk about understanding supplier relationship management, SRM. Um, we will start in approximately two and a half minutes. If you have any questions or if you would like to share uh, which country you are watching us from today, please do it in the comment section here on LinkedIn. In the meantime, uh, we will uh, just wait a few more minutes uh, just to give time for uh, everyone who is still trying to join the session. For those who are just joining, welcome to this week's webinar. Uh, we'll start this webinar in approximately two minutes. So if you still want to go and grab a cup of water or coffee, uh, you still have some time to do it. Uh, we will have a great session uh, today. We will talk about SRM in procurement or supply relationship management. Um, we will just wait a few more uh, seconds to give time for people who are still trying to join the session. In the meantime, uh, please let us know which country you are joining us from. We would like to welcome everyone from all over the world. So it's very uh, interesting for us to understand which country uh, you are jo joining from. For those who are just joining, welcome to this week's webinar uh, where we will talk about understanding supply relationship management or SRM. We will start this webinar in approximately uh, 50 seconds. So uh, if you want to grab a cup of water or coffee, you still have a few seconds to do it. In the meantime, we would also like to understand which country you are joining from. So please let us know here on the comment section on LinkedIn which country you are watching us from today. All right, there's just a few seconds until we start the webinar. Uh, so get ready for a very interactive session. Uh, we look forward to present you this webinar. So let's get uh, started. So hello and welcome to our webinar focused on understanding supplier relationship management or SRM. I'm Philippe and today we will break down what SRM is all about and how it can help you build strong connections with your suppliers. Get ready to learn simple yet effective strategies for nurturing this relationship to drive success for both parties. Let's dive in. In today's webinar, we have a comprehensive agenda aimed at providing you with a thorough understanding of supply relationship management, SRM, and its significance in procurement. We'll begin by introducing SRM and laying down the groundwork for our discussion. Following that, we will delve into the importance of SRM in procurement, highlighting its role in driving business success. Moving forward, we will explore the key principles that form the basis of effective SRM strategies, offering valuable insights to enhance your approach. Additionally, we will examine the two primary approaches to SRM, comparing their advantages and applications. 
Finally, we will outline the goals of SRM, emphasizing the importance of aligning them with organizational objectives to maximize its impact. Throughout the webinar, we will provide practical examples and actionable advice to help you implement SRM successfully within your organization. So, let's get started. Let's start by understanding Supplier Relationship Management, or SRM, and its crucial role in procurement teams and businesses at large. At the core of any successful business lies the relationship between the company and its suppliers. Suppliers provide the essential raw materials for manufacturing, making them vital to business operations. To ensure a steady supply of materials and services, maintaining positive relationships with suppliers is key. This is where SRM comes into play. SRM is a strategic approach focused on developing, managing and enhancing relationships with suppliers to optimize collaborations between the company and its suppliers. The goal is to evaluate and improve these relationships, enhancing supplier performance and adding value to the organization. Now, why is procurement significant in SRM? Firstly, procurement managers are in constant contact with suppliers, making efficient procurement methodologies essential for effective SRM. Secondly, procurement managers play a crucial role in supplier management influencing the quality of SRM based on employed strategies. A robust SRM enables procurement managers to choose the right suppliers selectively, contributing to overall business performance and continuity. This emphasizes a long-term approach, prioritizing solid relationships over mere transactions for mutual benefit. SRM encompasses two types of buyer-supplier relationships, vertical and horizontal. Vertical relationships focus on individual and supplier relation goals, while horizontal relationships involve collaborative efforts toward shared objectives. In defining SRM within your company, three key objectives should be considered supply relationships, risk management, and optimizing the value chain. Firstly, building supply relationships is crucial. Selecting beneficial suppliers is essential for business success. Secondly, risk management is vital, considering potential challenges like delivery delays or quality issues. Utilizing supplier data and prevention plans ensures continuity during challenging situations. Lastly, optimizing the value chain involves innovative collaboration with strategic suppliers to enhance business operations. By understanding and implementing these concepts, businesses can cultivate strong supplier relationships, mitigate risks and maximize value across the supply chain. Let's delve deeper into each aspect to uncover actionable strategies for effective SRM. Supplier relationship management is undeniably crucial for businesses offering numerous advantages and opportunities for both companies and suppliers when implemented effectively. By fostering strong partnerships, SRM contributes significantly to business success and ensures a resilient supply chain, creating a win-win situation for all involved parties. In this segment, we will delve into the importance of SRM in procurement by examining 9 key aspects and how they positively impact businesses. Firstly, SRM leads to less price volatility as strong partnerships enable collaboration on cost reduction strategies such as extended contract terms. This stability allows companies to set competitive pricing structures, fostering customer loyalty. Additionally, SRM provides a competitive advantage by ensuring a steady supply of high-quality materials or services at competitive costs, positioning companies favorably in the market. Another essential aspect of SRM is customer satisfaction. Strong supply relationships mitigate issues related to availability, delays and quality, enhancing product and service reliability and consequently customer trust and loyalty. Furthermore, SRM facilitates outsourcing of non-core functions to suppliers, allowing companies to focus on core activities while building mutual trust and maximizing efficiency. Despite occasional disputes, a good relationship with suppliers promotes open communication and problem resolution, driving mutual value creation. By viewing suppliers as strategic partners, companies can strategize plans that align with shared goals, fostering innovative and collaborative approaches. Efficiency and productivity are also improved through SRM, 
as collaborative partnerships facilitate better understanding and cater to business requirements with precision. Tesla's successful SRM practices highlight the efficiency gains achievable through strategic supplier partnerships leading to industry leadership and a reputation for quality. Adaptation to market changes is another benefit of SRM, as strong supply relationships enable companies to respond efficiently to shifting market demands through data-driven decision-making and collaboration. Consolidation of the supply chain is facilitated by SRM, streamlining procurement processes, reducing costs and improving overall quality and resource efficiency. Lastly, SRM promotes continuous improvement in procurement through routine assessments, strategic feedback mechanisms and supplier collaborations, identifying areas for improvement and enabling proactive action. Personal experiences as a procurement manager emphasize the importance of building strong supplier relationships despite challenges such as knowledge gaps and negotiation dynamics. Ultimately, success in SRM hinges on understanding and adapting to individual preferences and building trust through effective communication and connection. By prioritizing relationships and fostering mutual trust, businesses can achieve enduring success in supplier management. Now let's talk about the key principles of SRM. The first principle of supplier relationship management, SRM, emphasizes building collaborations highlighting the importance of strong relationships with suppliers. Establishing these relationships is crucial for effective teamwork, which leads to mutual trust and respect, forming the second key principle. Trust and respect are vital for meaningful work relationships demonstrated by open engagement and mutual goal setting, as seen in successful partnerships like Toyota and Honda with their suppliers. Transparency and openness are the third key principle, promoting clear communication by outlining objectives and being open to supplier suggestions for growth. Risk management is the fourth key principle, requiring collaboration between companies and suppliers to reduce operational risks. Incorporating exit strategies, evaluation methods and performance measurements is crucial for effective risk management. Contract management is another critical principle, ensuring fair dealings and mutual agreements while structuring terms and conditions to meet both parties' needs. Strategic segmentation and compatibility form the next principle, focusing on aligning goals and practices through supplier categorization. Utilizing technologies and innovation is the final principle, using existing technologies to streamline procurement processes and enhance collaboration. With these principles in mind, building collaborations become essential, requiring alignment of business goals, strategies and assessments through clear communication and integrated systems to ensure smooth collaboration with suppliers. Transitioning from our exploration of the fundamental principles of SRM, let's now delve into the two primary approaches to SRM, reactive and strategic processes. Identified by researcher Daniel Krauss in 1998, these approaches are fundamental in understanding how companies manage their supply relations in different contexts. The reactive approach, as the name suggests, primarily focuses on responding to issues or disruptions as they occur. It represents a conven conventional method of handling challenges within companies, lacking comprehensive assessment and strategies. Responses are engineered for rapid recovery, making it a short-term strategy. While it offers quick solutions to immediate problems and flexibility in addressing issues, it may overlook systematic issues and lead to a cycle of crisis management. On the other hand, the strategic approach in SRM is proactive, aiming to anticipate supply-related problems by planning for risks and engaging with suppliers in advance. It prioritizes long-term supplier management, focusing on collaboration, sustainability and ongoing development. Although it demands extensive research and resources, it offers benefits such as disruption minimization, long-term value creation and innovation. However, its complexity and potential rigidity may pose challenges, especially when dealing with numerous suppliers. In summary, the reactive approach responds to issues reactively, while the strategic approach proactively engages with suppliers. 
The former is short-term oriented, while the latter prioritizes long-term perspectives. Response time is a rapid in the reactive approach, where more planning is involved in the strategic approach. Additionally, the reactive approach focuses on instant improvement, while the strategic approach emphasizes continuous improvement and ongoing development. In the dynamic procurement field, adopting both approaches is crucial for effective managing supply relationships and addressing unfavorable situations. By understanding the difference between these approaches, procurement managers can make informed decisions to strengthen SRM and navigate various challenges. As we conclude our discussion, remember that different situations may call for different approaches, so it's essential to consider both reactive and strategic approaches for a holistic improvement of SRM. Now that we have explored the foundational principles of effective SRM and dissected the two primary approaches, let's go into an essential aspect, collaborative supplier development. Moving towards collaborative supplier development means that companies are working closely with their main suppliers to achieve common goals and succeed together. This is a smarter way of doing things in how companies buy what they need to make their products. By teaming up and using the knowledge, skills and resources of both parties, companies can gain many advantages that make them better than their competitors and help them deal with problems. One big advantage of this teamwork is co-innovation. This means that companies and suppliers work together to come up with new ideas, technologies and solutions that make their products special and help them lead the market. For example, big companies like Apple and Nike have done this to create new products and ways of making things that are good for the environment, which makes people like their brand even more. Another important part of working together is solving problems together. When companies and suppliers join forces to find and fix problems, they can do it faster and better. This could be anything from making sure the products are good quality to finding better ways to do things, or fixing problems in the supply chain. By working together, they become more flexible, stronger and always getting better. Sharing knowledge is also a big part of working together. When companies and suppliers share what they know and what works best, they both get smarter and better at what they do. For example, big car companies like Toyota and BMW often share information and skills with their suppliers to make their cars better, cheaper and more efficient. In short, Moving towards collaborative supplier development gives companies a smart plan for building strong relationships with their main suppliers. This helps them grow together, come up with new ideas and keep getting better. By working together, companies can find new ways to succeed, deal with problems and be even better than their competition. SRM is centered around the primary objective, optimizing and enhancing the processes between you and your suppliers. While this overarching goal provides direction, there are specific critical objectives to consider, which we will explore right now. SRM isn't just about building relationships, it's also about improving supplier performance in key areas such as product or service quality, timely deliveries and cost competitiveness. These areas are vital focuses for SRM to enhance supplier performance effectively. Establishing long-term partnerships is equally crucial in SRM. Prioritizing the cultivation of these relationships ensures the effectiveness of the SRM program, contributing significantly to supply chain stability. Reducing costs is another key goal, achievable through proficient negotiation, process optimization and effective collaboration with suppliers. Skillful negotiation and collaboration can lead to reduced prices, discounts and favorable contract terms. Mitigating risks is also essential for an effective SRM program. Identifying and managing risks associated with suppliers, such as disruptions and compliance issues, allows for comprehensive prevention strategies, ultimately reducing costs and improving product and service quality. Strategic sourcing and segmentation are additional SRM goals, aligning sourcing strategies with suppliers' capabilities and managing suppliers based on their strategic importance allows for tailored SRM strategies and better resource allocation. Compliance with standards is crucial in SRM to minimize risks related to non-compliance, such as data security breaches and reputation damage. Establishing stable compliance management processes ensures ethical and sustainable practices. 
Exit strategies are important for long-term partnerships, enabling continuous improvement and effective management of potential disruptions. Clear communication and transparency with suppliers are essential for maintaining trust. Lastly, sustainable practices are integral to long-term collaborations and relationships with suppliers. Upholding responsible sourcing and fair labor conditions drives success while aligning with ethical and sustainable businesses practices. Before we end this webinar, I want you to remember three things. Understanding SRM goals. Today we have delved into Supply Relationship Management SRM, which is all about optimizing processes between businesses and their suppliers. We have highlighted critical objectives such as building strong relationships, mitigating risks and optimizing the value chain. These goals are pivotal in enhancing supplier performance and driving mutual success. Then, importance of SRM in procurement. In our discussion, we emphasize the significant role SRM plays in procurement, from ensuring price stability and competitive advantage to fostering customer satisfaction and promoting continuous improvement. SRM is indispensable for business success and resilience. It empowers companies to navigate challenges effectively while strengthening supply relationships for long-term prosperity. Then, finalizing key principles and approaches to SRM. We have explored the foundational principles of effective SRM, including collaboration, trust, transparency, risk management and innovation. Moreover, we have dissected the two primary approaches, reactive and strategic, enabling procurement managers to make informed decisions and bolster supplier relationships. By aligning with organizational objectives and focusing on specific goals, businesses can pave the way for enduring success in SRM. Check out our Supplier Relationship Management course. It's an easy way to learn how to enhance supplier management skills. So just enroll, finish the course and in the end you'll receive a certificate. It's very simple. The course is completely online and lets you learn at your own speed. We will guide you through essential SRM principles, blending theoretical insights with practical applications. Plus, we've also got some interesting reading materials and extra content for you. For any inquiries, feel free to reach out to me at philippe at procurementtactics.com. Are you also looking to enhance the skills of your procurement team? Look no further than Procurement Tactics. Here's what we have to offer. A range of online courses covering 10 different subjects designed to upskill teams globally. Visit our website and access and download all the course syllabi. Now on to the Q&A session. This is your chance to dive deeper into the topic we have discussed today and get the answers to those burning questions on your mind. Let us know in the comment section here on LinkedIn and we'll be answering them right now. Thank you all for your attention. It was a pleasure and I look forward to seeing you again at our next webinar next week. Have a great day.